Thank you very much. I extend my heartiest thank you for delivering such a nice lecture on a very pertinent topic. I share my views with you, but also I would like to add that the way you have expressed that the capitalism and communism both could not define sustainability as well as development in its proper perspective. In fact, the overgrowing population, expenditure on the ammunition, the politics of nation state uh, structure, all these are doing great damage for the humanity. Don't you think that the sustainability itself is a very vague concept? Moreover, the development as defined by the GDP, as you have already pointed out, is not properly defined. The development should be in terms of humanity, not in the economic uh, uh, exchequer. You have given the right to example that uh, Erecting a building and dismantling it, both will contribute to the GDP. But just carrying a ailing heart is development. And the definition of development as given by ancient Indian scholars, thinkers, rishis, up to Mahatma Gandhi and Vivekananda, why not we just study them and apply in the society? It is not the power of ammunition which a nation possesses. Rather, all those nations who have accumulated power with them have done more harm to the humanity. Development is for the humanity. It is not for a particular nation or to create fear in the humanity. I am sure that we all remember the petition of Mahatma Gandhi that the nature has enough to feed everybody, but it is very resource constrained to feed the greed of even one person. We are defining development in terms of greed. It is fundamentally wrong. Yeah. We need to define development in terms of services, in terms of care, in terms of humanity, in terms of our duty to the society. There is no index, index made so far as yet. Why not we work together and UNA should give emphasis to it? As on today, why don't we feel that UNO is just a body which attracts attention of others but doing no service to the society. I quote one example. The very important problem of India, that is problem of Kashmir, was laying with UNO for last 70 years. And with one resolution of parliament, India it, uh, himself could or herself could solve the problem. It is the Failure of UNO to solve such problems between nations. It's the failure of UNO to regulate IMF. You have rightly mentioned that the banking is doing much harm to the society. In respect of the proper development, we need food. And we have enough land to feed people provided we are not greedy. We need clean water, fresh air, enough clothes. Our attention to the health, uh, to, should be towards the health and education. And our after keeping all these parameters aside only for lip sympathy, our concentration is towards ammunition. Towards warfares, 
towards dirty politics towards uh, illegal immigrations towards cross border terrorism and a long list is there why not uno and people like you and like minded people make it an effort to um, rather i would say that to request uno to educate uno even to modify its functioning and be the leader of the world to inculcate humanity in the minds of people in the minds of uh, nations uh, keeping assured their sovereignty and making a future of human being a better future a good future and uh, giving our coming generation a better world what we have received from our ancestors the way uno is working it is only giving lip sympathy it's my humble submission it's a long time i won't take much time but it's my just a comment on it i thank you very much for wonderful lecture you have delivered and the varied aspects you have covered thank you thank you all thank you very much thank you thank you very much uh, I, dr i just say can i just yeah. say one um uh the the un i think you're right very much professor dashura uh, in, about everything you said uh but the un in the there are many good people in the un who share your values and my values who want sustainability the problem is the un charter and so we work to have the un charter replaced by the earth constitution keeping all the agencies of the un we want the world health organization we want unesco we want uh, the U just un helping children all this is excellent right but if there if we replace the charter with the earth constitution then all of those agencies can be incorporated into the agencies of the earth federation government and and we'll be able to solve these problems that's what i want to say thank you thank you very much thank you uh, dr martin thank you professor dashura now i would like to request professor wasif professor wasif from jordan 